Hello Collective, welcome back to my platform. Thank you for watching as always. Please remember to like, comment, subscribe, share the content. You are appreciated. Let's go ahead and find out what in the name of source is going on here. Honey, I don't know who you are, but you have a few women, even a group, that don't like you. And I don't think you should give a damn for one second. So we have a Queen of Pentacles here. First of all, this Queen of Pentacles is not giving good vibes starting off. This is someone who is a thief into dark magic, just toxic as can be. This is one of those women that will pretend to be something that she's not. It's like someone has been pretending to be an empress, but they cannot pretend anymore. This is someone, one of those women that will pretend to be something so she can receive an opportunity, connect with someone. This is what's going on here. It, it's a whole mess, but let's go ahead and get into it. So someone out here is, is extremely pissed off because they've done a lot of voodoo behind the scenes to block your forward movement, movement, but you're still moving forward. It's almost as though someone blocks one thing for you and then a, a better thing comes along. So let's say you're working a job and someone ends up getting you fired. Well, then you end up with a job where maybe you work from home, you don't have to leave the house and you are in glory. Um, and then maybe they reach out to that company and get you fired from that company. Now you end up with your own business and things like that. This is how it's going for you. This person is extremely committed to blocking your forward movement. There is some type of offer this woman wants for herself, but she cannot have, right? Because the truth about her is being seen. She's being seen as someone extremely toxic, She's been projecting onto you. It's like she's telling someone, whoever this is that has this offer for you, this woman is projecting a lot onto you to this person. So it's like she's telling this person you are loose. You, you, you're showing up as a queen of wands. So she may be telling people that you're extremely superficial. You, you're loose with your body and everything like that. You're not hardworking. You're someone who's, who's into voodoo, even though she's the one into voodoo and things like that. Um, this is a whole lot. But someone is pissed off because they may have worked together to block some type of work of yours, but you're still prospering. It's like this was supposed to be like, a big secret like no one was supposed to know that they were working behind the scenes to interfere with your work your resources your forward movement your connections networking opportunities just everything your life overall these people have some type of obsession with you it's not just one person but there is a main candidate that has an obsession with you someone in here as well was paid to be in your energy you could have gone to school with this person went to church with this person went to work with this person at some point but someone was paid to be in your energy she may have gone around telling people oh you know we're best friends and we're this and you all were never best friends. This is someone that was probably putting your energy to find something out about you, but couldn't find anything. So she just started making things up. These are the types of people also that are very crafty when it comes to manipulation. They get so used and comfortable to manipulating other people um, when they cannot about you, you, the specific star, sea, empress, whoever you are, it pisses them off. So they start taking extreme measures to slender your character and things of that nature so these people are going to an extensive length uh, there is a heavy betrayal betrayal here that took place you may have been working on something and these people went and paid to have this sabotaged right uh, and this is because they want to prove that you are not someone hardworking. you're not committed and they don't want to see you prosperous right so because they don't want to see you prosperous they're doing things behind the scenes to interfere with your work and your life and things like that because they want you to appear in a certain energy they want to get a reaction out of you it's like you're telling a whole lot of stories on someone but they're not showing up in that energy so you have to keep doing things in order to prove your point but nothing you do is working someone it's not just someone it's a whole group of people here that wanted someone living in fear but you're not living in fear. The quite opposite is happening. They are living in fear because there's an ending that's coming for these people. They are going through a whole lot of endings. It's like karma is biting them in the behind. It says people going out of their way, trying to cause you endings, bring towers to you, even though you're probably not even doing anything to these people it's like you're going on about your life but these people are so focused on you and they have made it their mission to take you down but it's like no matter how many of them come together it's still not happening it's like no matter how many things they interfere with you are still moving forward you're still moving on to karma waters there's a masculine in here like a group of people or a feminine energy has been trying to convince to give her an opportunity 
give them an opportunity and he's not doing it because he's seeing the truth about this, these people. Someone is stepping away from the norms of doing things. So this masculine could be someone that is extremely traditional, very religious, fixed minded, things like that. But there is a spark that you awaken within this person and they are straying away from tradition and taking a chance with you. You have some type of soul contract with this person. So they absolutely want to connect with you. And this is what these people have been working behind the scenes to block, to prevent, to cause an ending to. Something is going to happen in divine timing so nothing is going to be rushed these people are not really doing anything to prevent this union from coming together all they're doing is entertaining the universe when this masculine or whoever this is decides to come to you no one is going to know it's going to be something extremely secretive something silent this is like a, a, a silent mover right Someone like this, you cannot really predict what they're going to do next. So it's like no matter what these people are doing, this masculine is going to move on his own time. Because he's aware now that these people are interfering from behind the scenes with communications, with different things, doing different tactics, going to readers, going to practitioners to look into his life, your life, other people's lives and things like that. It's like these people are watching readings in order to stay ahead of the game, but they don't really realize they are not. They are just complicating things for themselves, right? Um, so it's a whole lot of effort being put being used, right, to block you, but it's like nothing is going to work. It's almost us, it's almost like us, so let's say you are like a celebrity or something, right, and you get an offer from a network to be in one of their TV shows, daytime TV shows or something, but you have a hater behind the scenes that's doing things to block you from receiving these opportunities. So this hater finds out that you were offered uh, a job on this TV show. So then they start calling, making calls to the network to make sure that you don't receive that opportunity. Well, the network, they may not give you that opportunity, right? Because maybe they have a longer connection, a more established connection with that hater. So you lose that opportunity, right? Only for you to end up landing your own TV show with a different network. This is how it's working out for you, Empress. So I wouldn't even cause a, a lose sleep over what these people are doing. It's like they're, they don't know that they are helping you step into your destiny with every action that they take. And this is how it works with uh, dark workers. They don't realize that every action they take against you is just uh, a thriving you or uh, Pushing you into your destiny, basically. By the time you get to your destiny, you are more than ready and equipped to take it on. So this is what these people are doing. So you need to thank your enemies. You need to thank these dark workers for helping you grow, for helping you ascend, and for helping you bring your success to you even sooner and quicker. So it's like you can't hate them at the end of the day. Don't be angry with these people. Yes, it can get frustrating at times with the immature tactics these people do and take against other people. But at the end of the day, it's helping you and it's going to help them, help them as well in the end. When they sit back and realize, oh... We did all of this to this person and it didn't lead us to gaining nothing. Like we gained nothing out of this. Like I don't pay thousands of dollars for work to be done on her or him and I didn't gain nothing in return, right? A lot of these people have curses that are on them and they don't realize this. A lot of them have curses they're going to have to be uh, experiencing for like seven years. A lot of people are going to be losing their jobs. I see the tower out here. So people are going through like sudden changes, sudden endings. Someone's losing a job, a home, uh, someone's going through a divorce. It's a whole lot going on here. Someone is about to be pinching pennies, right? Because of actions they took against you unnecessarily. It's like you didn't do anything to, to these people, but because they're jealous, this is all it is. It's jealousy. It's not because you did anything to someone. It's because of jealousy at the end of the day. Someone is just insecure or a group of people are just extremely insecure. So they've made it their duty, their job, their mission to take you down, but nothing is happening to you, right? So it doesn't matter if they think that they stole an opportunity away from you, they didn't steal anything, it was not meant for you. There's something better coming along the way for you, okay? So this woman is pretending or has been pretending to be an empress, 
has is going through some type of ending. This is that one of those people that when you meet them, they're soft spoken. You know, everything is in place. They act like they are your best friend. They're very nurturing and things like that. Or even if that is not them, they will start, you know, stealing your energy to present themselves that way. But then when you leave the surrounding, they don't have you there to copy from you anymore. So they don't know what the next move is. It's that, oh, the real person has shown up. The representative has left the building. Now, this is one of those situations. Sis cannot pretend to be an empress anymore. She's been seen as a thief, someone conniving, someone manipulative. Um, it's just crazy. This woman can't pretend anymore because she's been seen for who she is. Someone is going through a drastic ending, right? There's something about your resources that these people did. Because I see the nine of pentacles out here followed by the empress, this means that you are someone that's meant to be extremely abundant in life. There is a, a ending that took place because of actions these people took. Um, or this is what they were intending to do is bring endings to your resources, to any offers that were supposed to be made to you. But as you can see, a new path has been formed for you. <laughs> Look at the horizon, honey. Your your uh, uh, possibility are limitless, right? Uh, you are someone that is extremely innovative, very creative, business minded. So the possibilities for you are endless. You always have options to grow, to ascend, to establish yourself. The universe always has another another plan for you. It's like that DJ Cal Cali uh, uh, saying, another one, right? The universe always has another one for you, so I will not worry. All of these mental conflicts these people have been doing, trying to uh, interfere with your forward movement, trying to hide you and things like that. It's like they want people to pretend like they don't see the truth about you and them, but it's not working. You are still sailing onto calmer waters. Victory is yours. People are using logic now. It's that people, when they had interactions with you, they knew auto automatically that you were someone sweet, but then someone comes in and says, you know she's this. You know she's a liar. You know she uh, sleeps around. You know she's a prostitute. You know she does this. And some and people are like, that don't even make sense. This person does not give that energy. But sometimes when you've been around a group of people for so long and they say something, you're kind, kind of afraid to challenge what they're saying so you may stay quiet. But I think it's getting to the point where people are not staying quiet anymore because they know it's a lot of BS. Like judgment is being caused. Someone is going through karma. Someone is going through karma. Someone is still moving forward. It's like this union people have been putting a lot of effort in to break this collaboration. It's still going on because this is something that's divinely guided. Spirit, your ancestors, the universe, whoever you want to call it, whatever you want to call it, have made judgment. This plan to unite these two people are, is still moving forward, right? Someone still thinks that they can come in and steal your opportunities, steal this union block. This union is not happening. Someone is going to be sneaking. I don't even know if I showed this. I should say this part. But this masculine is going to be sneaking away from these people in a way that they will not even expect. Oh, Lord, I hope these people aren't watching. But this this is someone that's this masculine, his mind, the way it works, I really like it. It's very attractive. This is someone that's very sneaky, but in a good way. It's that he's going to be sneaking away from these people when they least expect it, when their guards are down, when they're feeling comfortable about themselves, they think they've gotten away with what they did, out of that, and some of these people don't even realize that this masculine knows the truth about them, right? But this masculine is going to be sneaking away at the least expected time to come in and give you this offer so that you can seal onto common waters and move on with your life. It's that you are keeping your distance away from these people right now. Your uh, source is protecting you from them. Someone may want to come in and pick some type of fight with you. It's one of these feminine energies, and this is how they move. If you have some type of social media platform, you best believe there's a karmic under there writing comments trying to get a reaction out of you. I will ignore or just block them. That's all you have to do, right? Or be polite with them. I've had one come into my comment section when I'm doing a live to act like she's in genuinely interested in what I'm saying or he's genuinely interested in there. And I just play along and answer the questions for them. Like, I know who you are. Like, quit playing. You really think, like, I just come on screen, do tarot for entertainment purposes. Well, I'm supposed to say that. But, honey, you really think, like, I don't know that 
there's a Jesse Bell or a comic at the other end of that phone pretending to be a, 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 a Soul Tribe member. Come on now. Anyways, you are moving on to karma waters. You're, you are going to be extremely far away from these people, right? When their karma kicks in, you won't be anywhere near these people for them to even reach out to you for help to ask for forgiveness and things like that. For some of you, you're about to be famous on the world stage. You're going to be on TV, probably a, 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 um, like a, um, an influencer, things of that nature. And these people that were trying to take you down will have to watch you every day, right? It's almost as though when you, you are, let's say no one is a nobody, okay? But let's say in your nobody stage, a whole group of people come together and they make it your mission to take you down because they feel like you're better than them. You have a lot going on for yourself. They want to put, they, they want to humble you, right? So they're doing a lot of things behind the scenes to block your work. Regardless of what they do, spirit already knows you're going to be successful because this is how they have it set up. So you become successful and now the very people that were trying to take you down are seeing your faces everywhere on billboards on the screen. The first thing they see when they turn their TVs on is your face. The first thing they hear when they open their YouTube app, TikTok app, is your is your voice, right? This is how it's about to be for some of you. There is nowhere they can go to hide from you, basically. You're going to be on their TVs. You're going to be on their phones. You're going to be everywhere. Even their friends and families will be talking about you. So it's that like you're going to be hunting these people, but not in a literal sense, but you are going to be hunting them because everywhere they go, they will see or hear you or about you. Okay. You have some good news coming in. Um, and this is in regards to a kink of pentacles. So this could be the person that wants to come towards you. Someone who wants to work with you, right? Um, this person possibly is, I don't know how to put this. It's like this person works for an institution. Uh, he may be with them on a contract and he's in this contract for a while where he's just kind of keeping his cool, right? Until this contract is over, right? This could be someone that's also in some type of union that he's trying to make his way out of. Um, this is a union that's not healthy. He feels trapped in this union. Um, someone could have gotten married to this masculine for money. Someone could have stolen money from him. This masculine is leaving all of this behind, you know, to find fulfillment in life. So someone is going through healing. Someone li likes to enjoy the fun of things in life, right? But they are experiencing some type of huge revelation, some type of change in life because they took some type of wrong turn, right? Not just in business, but the things that they indulged in with these people, right? Someone may want to come towards you to speak the truth. They see you like as the queen of swords right now, that you don't want anything to do with anyone. So they may be a little bit hesitant to come towards you to speak the truth. But eventually they will, right? It's almost as though you have a lot of options as well in connections. It doesn't always have to be love. It can be work. You could have a few masculines that want to work with you. I see a king of cups out here. Um, so you have a few of them that may want to work with you. Um, but they are a little bit hesitant because a lot of them were involved in things that went against you. Okay. Um, Someone is having to sit there behind down and they're being forced to do this by the universe. There is a queen of swords in here, honey. I don't know what you did to this woman. She does not like you. And I don't think you should care. We don't get paid for people liking us. Well, on social media, technically you do when people hit that like button or they view your content. In a sense you do, but I'm seeing in regular life. Mentally and emotionally, you don't get paid for people liking you, okay? So let them not like you. But this woman is throwing some type of fit because you are still receiving this opportunity. Someone has seen someone's emotions grow for you. It's like initially this person's emotions, this King of Cups emotions for you. Uh, she said, mm, yeah, 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 you love her. We get it. She's pretty. And anyone would like her, blah, blah, blah. But now she knows that this masculine is serious about his emotions for you. And he is planning to come towards you 